Oh, we're gonna go for this guy. Oh, his cap can did nothing. Poor guy. Poor guy. Oh my god, his cap cans are doing nothing. Oh man. What's up guys, j right here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Crossout. Hope you guys are doing well. Today, I thought I would do some experimenting. After the Huggin review, you guys told me that Huggin cabin is not really meant for machine guns, but for shotguns, it works wonders. Now, I don't know why the dev said that the Huggin is designed for the, um, the not hung machine gun, but I don't think the Huggin is really for machine guns. I think with shotguns, I got the best performance. But like I mentioned in like previous videos, Look how slow this cabin is. Running a shotgun build with the Huggin cabin might not be the best thing. So we're using the Phobos Gold Driver just so we can get a little bit more top speed. Right now it's pretty decent, but it's still not as fast as a light cabin. You know what I mean? So today we're checking out this build. So let's quickly check what it is made of. So we got the Apollo Generator, three shiver coolers, four shiver coolers actually. Hmm. The optimal results i got if we use at least one radiator but i'm gonna try this out i'm gonna try this setup out for coolers for a few matches and then i'm gonna switch and i'll mention it to add one more radiator so it has a cheetah engine as well just for the speed a bunch of hermit wheels sabbath wheels as well interesting two few hammer falls a hug in cabin and the rest is structural parts just for the heck of it i'm gonna use all four fuse coolers just because we're on a promo account and we have everything unlocked so this one's fused already. We need more fused ones over here. Over here. And there is one more. I'm not sure where exactly it is. Let's quickly check. This one's fused. This one's fused. This one's fused. I don't know where the other one is. Anyways, I'll I'll put the fourth fused one as... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Sneaky little cooler there. I have a feeling we're going to lose our coolers extremely quick. They're just put in the build all over the place. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this build, let, let's show you guys how fast it can cool down. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. But what about if we replace this thing with a radiator? Let's use a fuse radiator. I think this is going to be way more effective. But anyways, uh, you guys know the plan. We're going to use four coolers first, and then we are going to use... Is it... Put, yeah, it's back. Okay. So we're going to use four coolers first, and then we're going to use three coolers with one radiator. Now, you guys just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and leaving a comment also helps out of that. And if you do all of that and follow me on Twitch, you can see it as your good deed of the day. And if you want to support JB Rider, you can also become a member, and that will also be really appreciated. Now, you guys just sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right, guys, welcome to the volcano. We got our first setup, like I mentioned, four shiver cooler that are fused. We have two targets over here. Oh, wow. Okay, we... Oh, I think... Oh, wow. Did we just strip his uh, weapons with, like, two volleys or something? Uh oh. Uh oh. Hmm. Something... Mm, I don't know what... I don't know this build, but it feels like something happened to it. Maybe lost the wheel or something. I don't know. It feels really off. Now, unfortunately, we do not have Chameleon. We do have the claw wheels, which gives us a little bit more speed. As we take... Oh, my God, dude. As we take damage. Yep, sorry. I'm going to just fall back. Fall back. We have five uh, perks on the claw wheels. Or not the claw wheels. The Sabbath wheels. Yeah, I got confused with the names there. Okay, uh, we're still doing okay. We got a few teammates here. Well, let's push up with them. Oh, beautiful. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. Yeah, this build is touching the ground. Oh, wow. This build is touching the ground a lot. Dude, I think, you know what? I was, maybe, maybe this cabin isn't that bad. You know, maybe, maybe it just works with shotguns. I just went with the, the the words that the devs said, like, 
this cabin is good with the new not hung machine guns and i thought you know the, the cabin good for machine guns but with shotguns man this thing uh this thing seems interesting now it is only my first match and i am running four re so that also helps with the uh the fast cooldown kind of makes shotgun feel like an automatic weapon Okay, this build has some issues. I'm going to see if I can fix them, and then we'll go to the second match. All right, guys, welcome to Old Town. I fixed the build. A bunch of parts in the front were scraping on the ground, so that should not uh, give us any issues anymore. There is one player here. Oh, it's EU server. That's why I'm driving like a weirdo. Yeah, driving on the EU server is a little bit tricky. But we have someone over here. Let's see if we can... Uh, that's fine. We got one cap can out of the way. We got the second one. Beautiful. All right, let's get this guy. We got the range. He has his back up into a wall. There we go. We got one of his armaments. We never need to cool down, bro. I mean, we do cool down, but we can basically keep firing for a very long time. Wow, look at that. That is craziness. And what's nice about this combo, when it cools down, it also makes the reticle smaller. Well, let's get this guy real quick. He's gonna grind us, but that's fine. Yeah, it cools down so fast, it makes the reticle instantly small, which makes our weapon... It kind of stays accurate. Not literally, but, you know, like, check this out small again small again so that is very interesting oh we popped them oh my gosh dude this might be a new meta we might see this in clan wars like i'm using hammer fault imagine this with breakers i'm not using breakers because of power score uh, it's just hard to find matches all right guys welcome to sinto city we got we got a dog build over here Let's see who's the better dog. I think he went... Uh, okay, we got bots. Okay, yeah, we, we, we got the dog build over there. Well, actually, this guy, let's get his... Oh, poor guy is going to lose his millers instantly. It's on an Omomori. You know exactly when something's on an Omomori and not. It just takes so long to take off. Miller should fall off super quick, but that actually took a while. Okay, we're going for this guy now. Oh no, I'm getting... Oh no, we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose some weapons. Let's back it up. Let's back it up. Back it up. Let's get the jewels off. Let's back it up over here to our base. Beautiful. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. We lost... Well, no, we didn't lose anything. Oh my god. Wow, this is amazing. Oh my god. Oh, we gotta go for that guy though. Wow, this build... We have nothing sparking. How is that even... Oh, we did, we did lose a bunch of reels. But how is nothing sparking? That makes no sense. I got blasted by three builds. Oh, that hurt though. That hurt. But nothing sparking yet though. And we don't have Omomori on this build. Every every energy is used on coolers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just sparking in front of him. Oh, he got it. He got it. That's fine though. He's using a Catalina cabin. Yeah, yeah. We got him. We got him. We got him. He went for our cabin. But oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. This build is amazing. I kind of wish I tried this earlier when I did the review of the Hugging Cabin. I'm gonna have to link this video in the review so that people can get a, a good picture of how good the Hugging Cabin really is. Because I thought it was just a bad cabin, but no, it's just made for shotguns. All right, guys, welcome to the Founders Canyon. Uh, are those bots rushing in like that? Okay, no, the whole enemy team is there, so I'm not gonna approach them. No, it wasn't bot. It was just a, a lance build. I kind of hit him there, but uh, there's not much I can do about that, man. We you jump down the hill, you don't know what was on the ground. So we just, uh, you're going to run into me or into someone. Uh, we're going to go down below, though. Follow me, boys. I'm not sure what the button is, but follow me. We're going to go for... No, not this guy. Oh, we're going to go for this guy. Oh, his cap can did nothing. Poor guy. Poor guy. Oh my god, his cap cans are doing nothing. Oh man. 
we art this guy i can't use the word on uh, youtube but you guys know what i mean we really messed him up i'm not sure where the enemy oh the enemy team is still here wow look at that range you, still get, you guys see that oh my lordy Dude, favorite cabin, all other shotgun cabins got nothing on the hugging cabin. This thing is amazing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you guys can definitely expect some breaker hugging combos in Clan Wars now. Watch watch the price of this cabin go up. I guarantee you the price will go up. Ah, oh, we're gonna do one more. This thing is too much fun. You know what, guys? This build was so much fun using four coolers. I forgot to use it with a radiator, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Do two matches with a radiator, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna end the video. I just got carried away. This thing is so good. So, so good. All right, Jakes, welcome to the Broken Arrow. Now we have three coolers and one radiator. The four cooler setup uh, was so much fun. I got carried away. It is really good. It is really, really good. Uh, but we got incoming. Oh, this is an inbuilt. Five imps, interesting. Why are you still pushing me though? Jesus, dude. All right, we're gonna go. Sorry, actually we have two enemies over here. So we're gonna go for these guys. Oh, that guy is struggling. Oh my God, he got nailed by that uh, avalanche. We're gonna go for this MG player here. I can fire longer. Still cools down really quick. Honestly, still feels good. Still feels really good. It's just one match. But let's see if we can engage with that last player. We jammed them. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. This uh, this build's just too strong. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome to the crater. Again, we have four coolers and one radiator. Somebody cloaked up over here. Oh, so Julie bot being a sneaky little bot there. I thought Julie messed me up, but, but it's just the terrain that is messing me up. Never mind. Good, good, good. This guy is using mammoths. Poor guy. Poor, poor guy. Poor, poor guy, dude. Oh, he's using mines. Oh, oops, I made an oopsie. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll give you that shot. I'll give you that shot, but watch your back. You got Sarah behind you. Okay, you got a good shot on me as well there. He's using working mines. This build is strong, but oh, yeah, I kind of struggled to get against him. He got me really good. We got Dreadnought over here, Avalanche user. So I see this build does have a flaw terrains like this are kind of uh, tricky to use or not tricky but it's it's kind of hard to move on them because the build is so low you get stuck to the ground which kind of messes with your mobility but i think uh, overall this setup is solid almost cold driver to get more uh, speed sabot wheels to get more speed if you get shot yeah that might actually be uh it's actually oh dang that guy just sniped me with scorpions All right, guys, well, there you have it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. This build was amazing, but it's kind of hard to test out the DPS in PvP. So let's go to the damage sphere here and see how much damage we can do in 10 seconds with three coolers that are fused and one radiator that is fused. We did like 100, 100 damage per shot. Okay, so we got 3108. Yeah, we have the cooler now. Now we have four coolers. So we got 3108 with three coolers and a radiator. Now let's see what this one does. Hmm, seems faster. But I don't know. We got 3108. Now we're getting. Oh, yeah, a little bit less. 2916. So that one extra radiator does help. 
But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh yeah, follow me on Twitch. Started streaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace out. Yeah.